Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel 19 Zoll Mafia. I'm Felix and I want to talk about Push 3 again after I asked you guys if you have some questions about Ableton's newest standalone controller. And you had some questions. One was about the sticky buttons. Well, I can't tell you if these buttons will become sticky yet. At the moment they are not and I don't know what time will bring, but they feel less like rubber and more like plastic. So I hope this is a good sign. Another question was asked about BPM changes with scenes. Yes, you can do that, but I have no idea how to do it on Push 3. However, I program BPM changes on my DAW and then transferred the session into Push 3 and it worked flawless. You could see the BPMs with the scenes and you could also start the scenes and they will run with a specific BPM within them. So yes, that works. Kai Tresset asked about CB tools and delay compensation. Well, CB tools is not available for Push 3 yet. I am running version 1.1.1 like everyone else and you can load CB tools but you can't assign outputs to them. So I have no idea when they're gonna fix it but it brings us to a bigger problem and that's the latency issue. Ableton keeps calling Push 3 an instrument and this is totally true but it's also a normal computer like your desktop computer. So it has an audio phase and an audio interface and the computer has problems with latency. The higher the sample rate and the smaller the sample buffer, the smaller the error gets and you might not even recognize that there is a delay in between. However, with normal settings, say like 44.1 and 512 samples, the delay becomes significant. And significant, I mean 38 milliseconds. On my computer with the same settings and with my Symfony I.O. interface, I get 23 milliseconds. And with Pro Tools and the same interface and the same computer, I get 11 milliseconds delay. So 38, 11 milliseconds, that's a tough one. And I don't know why Ableton is not able to compensate for this error. Again, you don't have a delay compensation feature in here. You don't have delay compensation within the CV tools yet. You don't have track delay and you don't have MIDI track delay. That makes it complicated to record instruments you trigger from here and get them properly in phase and in sync. I was testing this behavior with different scenarios. First, I started to record an external instrument into push and realized there was an offset between the triggered note and the recorded within the next trick. The delay is very small when you record internal in Ableton, that's no problem, but when you go out through hardware or you use external hardware, the delay becomes a problem. I then didn't find a way to easily delete the beginning so your real one becomes the one in clip Ableton again. Normally I would do this with deleting time in the arrangement view on Ableton, but you don't have an arrangement view here. Is push free for me? I don't think so. I mean, it's nice to trigger MIDI from here to have it everything on your fingers and like one session that you could use always in the studio so you can always play your synths without firing up the computer and I could record my synths into this. So if I find a cool way to delay push free with my live license running on the computer so I get the MIDI just delayed right so the audio comes back in the right place on the DAW, that would help me a lot. But I don't have that much time to experiment anymore because I have to return my demo unit tomorrow. So I hope I could help you guys with my findings for now. And if you were curious to use Push with your outboard, I would say just wait for updates and see when Ableton fixes problems like delay compensation, track compensation, MIDI clock um, delay and so on. And I really hope they find some more ways to do proper multi-track recording with this unit. Thanks for your time, thanks for listening, and please follow me if you like my content. Ciao!